nothing wrong with being a fan. But when you start disrespecting other men over being a fan of somebody else, that's weird. That's that's it's something wrong with that picture. I never disrespected that guy. He said that he saw me at USA boxing event. Okay, and what you saying by that? He said, Oh, I already told you I seen your face before. So what is, what is, what are you implying about that? See, because you, hey. you you know where I'm from, Mill. You you know you know my background. Don't imply certain things saying stuff like that to me. I still let it go. I didn't take none. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, don't start talking like that. This is YouTube. We're just debating. It's nothing. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, D-Town. When, um, when Marty told me that he wanted to go this route and started making content, we had a long conversation. <laughs> and with, if you come from the real world, right? People handle things a certain way. There are consequences to saying certain things. And I was explaining to Marty that this is a completely different world. Like, these dudes that be on here are different. Like, fans or guys that make content. As you can see, Marty, you've had a couple of run-ins. Like, dudes take shit left. And you know I ain't talking about your your, your running with blue blues, my man. But you've had some a, a bunch of other weird run-ins where dudes is trying to do homework, calling you by your first name, looking like just weird, a bunch of just weird shit. But this is what goes on, man. I've seen guys have people, baby moms on a platform while they was beefing. Guys talking, yeah, guys talking about what kind of men. Uh, I'm sorry, what kind of women dudes like to date and just just. Just a whole bunch of shit that ain't got nothing to do with boxing or the business of boxing. They take the shit completely left. And this is what kind of weird shit is on YouTube. Man. It's different. Yeah, I, I see that. I want to yeah. say one thing uh, to uh, YSM Sports Media. Um, I do watch your um, your uh, videos and your, uh, your platform and stuff like that. So salute to you. You do good work, and uh, some of my content might be a little bit off uh, some of the things you do and stuff. So I just wanted to let you know that um, I do watch the videos and stuff, and you do uh, you do a great job, you know, so far as doing it. So I respect you uh, highly on that. And um, I was saying earlier uh, about me and manager Marty had, had met up, and me and him was doing our little, uh, you know, videos and things like that, and the incident came about. <laughs> When me and him was together, and uh, like I said, I'm getting into great details, but you know, manager Marty, you know, however, you know, he know you and stuff. But manager Marty, he was down. I mean, he he was down. I mean, like it, it was like, what, what you call me, manager Marty? Uh, pots and pans. <laughs> but manager Marty was down. So manager Marty, you know, I know you know know of him and things like that. But yeah, he's a real guy. Detail. Uh, you you from uh, Atlanta? From Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. All right. So you from a real place where real shit happens. These internet games, this shit is a different animal because uh, if anybody doesn't know Marty, Marty has a certain threshold. And once you take Marty past that threshold, all the professionalism goes out the window. I'm working on and myself, Ryan. Right? So I'm working on that. No, but like working on that. It, uh, some people have shorter thresholds. You know, some people have higher. It, it depends on who you are. But what I'm saying is these Internet dudes poke the bear. And once you go past your point, we there now. But you never going to see these dudes in real life. Like they just going to be keyboard warriors. So <laughs> you just going to be sitting there just, just aggravated. Like I, I've been here. It, it, the first thing I'm saying is, okay, well, what's the next fight you're going to? Because I'm I'm done with the back and forth. But the the reality is, Marty, as as successful as you get, the more you just gonna have to deal with this bullshit. So just take it as internet games because none of this shit ever materializes where you can actually put pause on people. I mean, you know, I like I said, man, you know, I keep everything on YouTube, man. I you know, I don't advocate for I'm just saying that certain words that people say, it can trigger certain people, man. You can't you can't say, 
Or I seen you and I was in your face and pull up when you say words like that. You know, you know where we from, Jamil. I mean, it's just certain it's yeah. just certain words that people can't just be talking. That's you can't say certain words like that. That's all I'm saying. You talk, you know, pulling up, you know, ducking somebody when I see you, words like that. You know, like I said, I you know, I don't take it personal. It's just don't come on the don't disrespect, don't but, disrespect me on my on my jaw, man. It wasn't even that deep. Really all this work. over boxing, though. And that's that's my thing, detail. All this over boxing, just because we have different points of view. But this is bro, this is the type of shit I've been going through for three man. Look, you'd be surprised how these dudes feel about other men. You know what I'm saying? Like they need to defend these other men with all their might and vitriol. Like, <laughs> come on, man. Wow. <laughs> I mean, we're here now, like I always say, you know, um, it's unfortunate we have women in the chat. You know, I never let the women try to see us as men act like them. I think that's really counterintuitive to see when a woman see a man acting like them, they just start losing respect, man. And I, I you know, I just want to make sure that the channel stay respectful.